Hey there, thinkers, and welcome back to Critical Hit. My name is S, and today I'm going to give my thoughts on some news about some localizers being promptly removed from Crunchyroll. So, let's get into this, shall we? So the recent shakeup at Crunchyroll, one of anime's streaming giants, has sent ripples of concern throughout the community. Reports have surfaced of vocalizers being given the boot and prompting discussions about the future of anime translations. As the dust settles, questions arise about the effectiveness of AI in filling the void left by human translators. Mind you, localization has long been the unsung hero of bringing anime to the global audience. Skilled translators armed with cultural savvy and so-called linguistic finesse, have been instrumental to ensure that non-Japanese viewers can fully appreciate the nuance of their favorite shows. However, the abrupt departure of the seasoned vocalizers have left many wondering about the fate of the anime translation quality. Crunchyroll's pivot towards AI-driven translations has sparked debates about the reliability and accuracy of automated tools. While AI has made a significant stride in recent years, it still struggles to replicate the nuanced understanding and cultural contexts that human translators do provide. Anime, with its complex storytelling and cultural references, poses a unique challenge for the AI translation algorithms. There is one concern among fans, and that's the potential loss of the authenticity in translated anime. Although human translators do bring depth of understanding and passion to the shows, it is hard to replicate that artificially. They have attuned to the nuances of the character, cultural references, and humor, ensuring that the translation resonates with viewers. AI translation, while it is still efficient, often still lacks the human touch, leading to sterile and sometimes inaccurate renditions of the source material. The decision to replace human translators with AI raises ethical questions about job displacement and the devaluation of linguistic expertise. Many vocalizers dedicate years to master their craft, honing their language skills and cultural knowledge. The sudden dismissal of these professionals in favor of automated tools reflects a broader concern about job security in the face of automation. However, mind you, if they did their job right and accurately translated the material in the first place, they wouldn't need to be replaced by automation that will. But let's pause for a moment. Imagine AI translating the iconic Nanny into what in the digital realm is this? Accuracy aside, there's something lost in translation, isn't there? Consider the mistranslation of the character's emotional confession. Instead of saying, I love you, AI spits out, I have a fondness for you, based on algorithmic analysis. It's not quite the most heartwarming moment fans were expecting. Now, despite these concerns, supporters of AI translation argue that technology offers numerous benefits, including speed, cost efficiency, and scalability. AI algorithms can process vast amounts of text in record time, allowing streaming platforms to deliver content more quickly. Additionally, AI translation tools can be fine-tuned to improve accuracy over time, potentially addressing some of the shortcomings associated with automated translation. Besides, AI is learning on how to communicate as humans, and in time, it will be better. Furthermore, AI translation has the potential to expand access to anime for global audiences. By automating the translation process, streaming platforms can offer anime in multiple languages simultaneously, reaching a broader, more diverse audience. This democratization of access to anime aligns with the industry's goal of fostering international appreciation and understanding of the Japanese culture and storytelling. However, it's essential to acknowledge the limitations of AI translation. While technology has made strides in its natural language processing, it still struggles with the complex linguistic structures and idiomatic expressions. Anime, with its rich tapestry of language and culture, presents a formidable challenge for AI translation algorithms. Imagine AI interpreting a tsundere. It's not like I wanted you to notice me. Instead, AI says, my algorithm dictates I express disinterest, though secretly, I desire your attention. It doesn't really have the same charm, does it? Though AI translation raises concerns about data privacy and security. Automated tools often require access to vast amounts of text to improve accuracy raising questions about user privacy and the potential misuse of personal information. Additionally, the proprietary nature of AI algorithms may hinder transparency and accountability, making it difficult to access the quality and reliability of the translations. So, with the firing of the vocalizers from Crunchyroll only highlights the evolving landscape of the anime localization and the growing influence of AI in the translation process. While AI does offer undeniable benefits in the terms of speed and scalability, it also poses challenges of terms of accuracy, authenticity, and ethical considerations. 
As the anime industry navigates these changes, it's crucial to strike a balance between harnessing the potential of AI technology and preserving the expertise and passion of human translators. Ultimately, the goal should be to provide fans with translations that are not only accurate and timely, but also culturally rich and can emotionally resonate. And maybe, just maybe, we will find room for a few more 90 moments along the way. Well, I think that's everything for now. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and if you do disagree, please do get it respectfully. And if you made this far, hit that subscribe button, tap that like button, and ring that notification bell to be notified for our next video. Well, as always, my name is Ast, and I'm signing off, so I will see you in the next one. Toodles!